Welcome to Generation Gap Gamers. Vulpine Pilot here. And I have uh, my chicken spawner spawning behind me. But it is not spawning terribly fast. I keep adding chicken eggs to it. But I'm not seeing them pop in nearly as fast as I want to see them pop in. So I've just been doing, taking a few stacks at a time, opening the door here, and emptying them all into it. Getting more and more chickens. And hopefully, once I get enough chickens, then this egg thing will just keep filling up a lot faster than four in the time it took me to empty all of those eggs. So what I'm thinking I'm gonna do is gear up and go explore that cavern that I found several episodes ago. I've got some food with me. I've got a few pickaxes. So I'm just gonna go down and figure out what I can find. So I'm just gonna enter into a time lapse right now for you guys.
All right, all right. So, it was a pretty productive run. Found a bunch of diamonds. Found a ton of gold. I did not spend too much time mining up the iron there, but I was mostly grabbing that gold and that diamond. And I'm happy with what I grabbed. Let's go ahead and start smelting it down. Yeah, the blast furnace here is a lot faster. That'll finish well before the other furnace down here. But I'll still put the iron in here anyways. It's going a lot slower that far. So I got some diamond finally of my own. Got a little bit more lapis. A little bit more redstone and not much else but you know I got enough gold now that I might as well build my church and maybe I'll get a cleric maybe not these guys don't seem to be falling in love at all just yet maybe it's because it's all stacked vertically oh no but I have an idea for that. I'm going to open up the castle gate so that the villagers can leave the castle anytime they choose, but not before I go ahead and wall off the whole rest of the village here. I started very early on, but I didn't get very far before deciding to build a castle here. Well, now I have a castle, now it's time for the village around the castle to become a little more dense. So let's see, do I want to start on that just yet? Or do I want to figure out something else to do? We'll figure that out here in just a minute. Alright, I think I figured out what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and mine a bunch more iron and coal. So I'll go ahead and make a few iron pickaxes. I'll leave the rest of the, the iron in there. And I'll just go right back down into my mines and, I, and just mine out a bunch.
All right. Hey, guy. Uh, the shepherd's in here with me. But, but yeah, I, uh, back from my adventures. I got lots of the, the coal and the, the iron ore and the redstone dust and even some lapis and even some gold. And I'm even putting torches right where they were before. So yeah, things are looking pretty pretty stacked in my inventory. Probably use some of this coal to level up some some of my villagers here. I can use some of it to smelt. Might as well use the the fast one for this gigantic stack of iron that I've got. Apparently I, I placed a dirt block there. There we go. Some more of that in there. Get that smelting. I've got plenty of gold now. So I think it's time to check my chickens before anything. Oh my goodness, that is that is nearly full. So let's grab three stacks of them and just hatch even more chickens. You can never have too many. All the chickens. One of the chickens escaped. I can't have chickens just running loose. I'll do a few more stacks. Why not? Do do do. Do do do. Do do do. A few more chickens. I like how the street kind of goes all the way up now to this level that I had previously made where the windows are. The golem likes hanging out here. Hey Stan, how you doing? If you remember we named that guy Stan just like one of my golems in the previous realm. So yeah, I think uh, this is probably a good place to call the episode. Hope you all enjoyed watching this one. Until next time, see you, Space Cowboys. <laughs>